Hi, this is Ushio, and welcome back to Zip's Cafe. In the last part, we started day two, and things are brewing and starting to escalate in their urgency. We spoke to, what was it, Melinda, Mick, and what's this guy's name? Frank. I think that's all their names. I'm getting them right, perhaps. But, yeah, things are going to go down very soon. But Moses just walked in. He's a real phenomenon. He's like a dusty relic of the last century. They say he's a genius in his own way, but he's too clumsy and stubborn to ever be a top detective. Well, this guy just walked in, interrupted our secret conversation. So, let's see what he needs. Gentlemen. Hey, old fox. We were just talking about you. Oh, that's how it is. We just asked our dude Frank for a favour. And he was just like, what are you talking about? And then this guy walked in, so we're going to find out what this favour might be. You know Moses, Frank? Only superficially. Hey, Detective Wildflower. Hello to you too, Mr. Castellini. No need to be so formal. If you think so, Frank, you can call me Moses. Alright. Now you're talking. We've warmed up to each other nicely, haven't we? Hmm. Awkward. Now then, who wants what? Moses? Something dark and strong? Frank? Another coffee. Okay, what do you need? Just a tea this time. Surprise me. Make it fruity, sweet and strong. Understood. Tea. Got it. Let's make something special. H have I ever made a tea? So I need a mug. I'll put it here. I guess we need hot water, so that's good. Uh, One caramel tea. Wait, have I got tea? Caramel tea. Okay, so let's just put the water in here. Fine. And I'll put a tea bag. Okay, dump. Okay, so let's go over here. Was it one hit of orange juice? Cool. Three sprinkles of cane sugar. One, two, three. And the last thing was pollen. Two lots is up here. I'm guessing I don't stir it. He can do the stirring himself. Uh, try this. I'm not confident with the till. Till? Tea. But we got it. Yeah, that's the way you do it. Very nice. Well, that was... Oh, my. That was fantastic, Zip. My sincere congratulations. Oh, I thought I ruined it, but I'm glad I didn't. And thanks. That was cool. Okay, so what do you want, Frank? My giant coffee's done the trick, but while I'm stuck here, I'd love to have a bite, like a, a double pancake slab, if you can make me one with extra jam. You got it, pal. Let's see. How'd you make pancakes, though? Okay. So, let's, let's get this cooking. So, it was oil, which is... Uh, oil. Okay, so... Oh, we got to make two pancakes. So, let's, let's get one going over here as well oil. So is it pancake mix? Let's try that. Pancake mix is here. Cool. Let's, let's put one in over here as well. A couple of pancakes getting ready. This one is almost done. Tasty. Come on, next one. Give me that. So what next? Uh... So pancakes are pretty easy. So pancake one has chocolate syrup. So it's, it's good practice. Turn off your gas. Don't leave oil unattended. Absolutely not. So chocolate was this one. That's cocoa. No, put it down. Marmalade, ketchup, garlic. We don't got chocolate. Is cocoa close enough? Chocolate syrup and jam. Oh, marmalade is jam. Marmalade is jam, so that's good for... And decorative flowers, okay. Let's put some... That's it, that's that. I think I need to do two hits of that. Bonk. Decorative flowers, cool. So this is... It says it's cocoa, does that count as chocolate? I'm gonna take it as chocolate. Fingers crossed that this is what we need. Yep. Let's do it. 
cooking different things every day. Hey, very nice. Very nice. Damn that stinking furry feather kitten and everything, Zip. Wow, is that bad? I've never had such a good meal. Oh, thanks, our friend, but let's not exaggerate. I'm blushing under my fur. But that was good. So, why are all three of us here at the same time? It's a coincidence. It's been a while since I came out of the larval stage, Zip. You made this happen, didn't you? What? Of course not. Yeah, he did, but I asked him to. I need help. Well, well, well. A famous detective from Clawville Police Station asks a mere insect for help. What's more, a private detective? It's not that big of a deal. No, I should fare a lottery ticket, or is it the end of the world already? Well, well, alright. I understand, and I deserve it. We only come crawling to you when we need help. Is that what you want to hear, Frank? If somebody kills an insect and throws their corpse into a trash bin, you won't come. When mothers secretly sell their lava in the alley for your kind, you don't come. When insects cut off their own arms to sell them onto the black market, you don't come. Yeah. Think on that for a bit. But when you need help, because you can't manage on your own, then magically you're all kind and humble, right? Yes, exactly right. Wow. Okay. I'm not saying I'm in, but spit out what it is you want, Moses. Moses didn't argue the point, he didn't disagree. He took what was said, and he agreed. So, yep. You need to get me into the hive. Ha! Ah. <laughs> what, what, huh? Uh, have you looked at yourself lately? You look like you stepped out of a fashion magazine from last century. You're first freshly combed and smells of sandalwood. You wouldn't last a minute in that place, mate. You'd be picked apart alive, and they'd have reason to. I have to catch Mick somehow. I don't care if they tear me apart. I see. Is this a personal matter? Is it personal? No, I mean, not in the usual sense. To me, anything that goes against the law is personal. That's why I'm good at what I do. It's my motto. Make it personal, and do it yourself. Ugh, it's catchy. Do you have any suggestions, Frank? Or can you just afford to be sarcastic? You do know the hive inside out, and now you know more about Mick than we do. He's very rarely alone, almost never. Nowadays, one of his henchmen is always with him, a giant horned moron the size of a house. Beef. That's it. You know guys, maybe I'm crazy, but yeah. I might have an idea, but you do have to trust me. What is it? I'll get you Mick and he'll be alone and vulnerable tomorrow, but only if you don't ask why and how. That's not how it works, Zip. I'm a police detective. A desperate police detective. Do you want my help or not? You can get what you want out of the monkey, Frank, and you'll get what you want, Moses. It's win-win-win. Sounds too good to be true. But it can be if you help. Come in at your usual time tomorrow, Frank, but first have a little snoop around Mick. What do you want to know? One word, Frank. Garlic. Garlic? Yep, if I'm right, this is the key to getting what we all want. Alright, Zip. Garlic. Come back at the usual time tomorrow, Frank. If you say what I want to hear, we'll all win. And if not, well, we'll improvise, but you don't want to do that because it's going to get ugly. I don't like this, Zip. Me neither. Finally, you agree on something. Moses, 10 o'clock tomorrow on the dot and don't be late. Now get the hell out of here. What? Good evening. Hey big boy, this gentleman was just leaving. What can I get ya? Just one more thing, Zip. Why are you doing this? Well, maybe I'm just bored. Sure. Okay, hopefully Sandor didn't pay too much attention to those dudes. I swear I feel sorry for this kid. I don't know why. I never liked those mummy boy types, but this kid has something likeable. Or I'm just old and getting sentimental and stupid. Okay, what's going on? You told me to come alone, Mr. Zip. Here I am. No, mister, I told you. Oh, yeah. Listen, big boy, Mick was in here and he said he has somebody on you. On me? That's right. Yeah, that's little Bobby. I thought he was spying on his own beard. A real sneaky little bastard. I just smeared him on the wall, so he's gone. Huh? 
What? I don't know. I'm just pleasantly disappointed in you, boy. You do have some nerve, don't you? Well, I don't know. Maybe, I think. Now, listen to me. I might have thought of something, but since you're here and I'm doing you a favour, or to something, I don't do good deeds for a living, you know? Oh, of course. Let's see. What, so he's just fresh from a murder? What do you need? Orange sunset tea and... Yeah. Can I have a little extra straw powder? Of course, my boy. Orange sunset and extra straw powder. Cool. Let's do it. Hot water. Always hot water. So, a mug can go here. Fill it. Oh, keep filling, keep filling. My bad. There we go. What was it? Caramel tea. Sure. A hit of orange juice, which is over here. One of them. Three sprinkles of cane sugar. One, two, three. Got it. Sprinkles of pollen. Pollen is... Why can't I never find it? Is it two? It better be two, because it's two now. Oat straw powder. One of the... We haven't used this stuff before? Sure. Hopefully it's good. Tasty, tasty. Orange sunset. Perfect. Straight in. This is really fantastic, Mr. Zip. Thank you. Ah, it's nothing, kid. So let's keep talking. So, buddy, what were you planning to do if you got away from Mick? Well, what is certain is that I'm leaving town. I've already bought two tickets for the Corvo Express. I'm guessing that these are apostrophes. Something's gone wrong with the game. Two. Yeah, I'm not going alone. I'm bringing my lady love with me. I see. Lucky lass. I hope so, yes. Where to? I mean by train. I assume the destination isn't Staronia. The tickets are for Averia. Okay. Land of the birds. And why are there of all places? You know, over there. They're very kind to insects. To insects? Yeah, you know, the girl in question. A nice florist girl I met in the hive. Oh, it's coming together. Her name is... I know her name. And I know her too, boy. She comes in here every day. I know. In fact, that's why I insisted that we need to patrol the area. Because Melinda keeps coming back and forth. That's why Mick ended up liking this place. And why we came back. Okay, so Zip thought that the special thing going on with Melinda was between those two. But it's actually with this guy. Zip's gonna have to respect that. What? What? Did I say something wrong? So you brought Mick to me? You're the reason he wants my calf? I didn't mean to. Just because something moved in your pants, now I have to deal with this shit. I can't believe this. Uh, what? You what? I... I'm sorry. I don't believe it. I'm such an idiot. And then, so you're not going to help? You owe me one until the end of your miserable life, boy. You understand? Understood. No problem. I'm used to this kind of talk. So Zip is still going to help. Even though, yeah, it's absolutely for the benefit of everybody else. Mostly for Melinda and less for this kid now. What? You know, the threats and all. I'm used to it, sir. I can swallow it. Fairy heavens, no. I didn't say it like that, okay? You owe me, that's all. We'll probably never see each other again, so don't worry about it. I understand. Do you? Okay, there's a bit of a realisation there. So, my plan is still evolving, but I think I've solved your problem. Really? I think so, yeah. What do I do? Nothing in the world. Just be here before 8 o'clock tomorrow and come alone. I don't know how but solve that. And if you can do that, I'll take it from there. And you won't have to worry about Mick until you leave town, boy. You mean we leave? Yes, of course I mean that. So... Did you understand everything? I'll be back tomorrow at 7.30 at the latest, alone. Make sure you're not being followed. If Mick sets someone on you again, take him out. Take him. Okay, I'll do it. Good boy, now go. I'm not in a great mood. Something's just messed up my stomach. Thanks, Zip. He... what? Thank you for everything. 
Uh, just leave it, kid. I just want you to get out of this shit, okay? I've been on that side, and I don't wish it on anybody. That's it, nothing more, okay? I see. Well. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. Bye. Belinda and that moron. Ah, what was I thinking? That she and I? You're an idiot, Zip. Time to wash up and close up shop. Okay, it's been the end of the day. Put put on the washing up gloves. Let's put on some water. We'll rinse it on this side. Let's, let's wash everything. I definitely use more than one pan, but it's cool. Okay, put the washing up liquid in. That's it. How much? That's quite a lot. That'll be fine. What are you doing, Zip? What are you getting yourself into? Okay, next. You said it was over from now on, right? You'd stay out of trouble. You've changed once and for all. But what can I do? That bastard Mick is on my neck. Okay, spoon. I'm not going to sell that place that I've just managed to fix up. I wouldn't even know what to do with the money. Okay, that was the frying pan, not the spoon. What's next? It's the cup. And by the way, all I have is this place and Melinda, who doesn't love me. But she's still a nice person. Of course not. What was I thinking? Damn it, Zip. Now you have to go through. As my good mother always said, whatever happens, happens. The coffee must flow. Okay, we finished day two, but we're going to keep going. Because everything is going to happen tonight. It's day three. Betrayal and love at Zip's Cafe. Ah, oh, it's here. The big day. It feels just as miserable as the others. But, big breath, pal. It's going to get worse. And if all goes well, maybe better, too. Okay, let's read the news. Are they going to sue the chicken, please? The legendary cop duo, known as the chicken, please, now looks set to face a serious lawsuit. In the class action civil suit, the two roosters are accused of arson, assault, and warrantless search, among other things, okay, which they committed without the knowledge and permission of the police during the investigation of their latest case. Probably true. But what's going on the other side? Who's behind the new Unity Church? The new Unity Church is spreading like wildfire in the city. The doctrines of the recently founded church are extremely popular, especially amongst the poorer classes, but increasingly high-ranking politicians and some members of the ruling class are seen at its meetings. Many have dubbed the group a cult, and the most mysterious aspect of which is that no one really knows who's behind it. Okay, so it's not this dude. Okay. Interesting. But Melinda is here. So let's have a talk. Evening, Zip. Melinda, my dear, I'm so happy to see you. You're very kind, and I'm very excited. How come? You know, the boy, the one I've told you about earlier. Yeah, I know. Tonight, maybe tonight, we'll finally escape from here. We're leaving Clawville, and everything it stands for. I, I'm happy for you, my dear, really. You're an animal with a heart of gold. Has anybody ever told you that? Nothing like that, dear. Oh, I feel like I could fly. With such beautiful wings, why not? Ah, don't be silly, Zip. You're not even allowed to say such a thing. If you manage to get to Avira, maybe you won't have this kind of problem there. Maybe so, but who knows. Is it true what they say? That insects are treated like other animals over there? I don't know, my dear, but I'm sure you'll find a better place for those beautiful wings. When I think that weeks ago, I was thinking about cutting them off. Don't even think about that. Do you know how they look at me for still keeping them? Horrible. Most insects get rid of them when they're kids. It really is horrible. Just to look more regular, normal animals. You know, dear, the most disgusting thing is that we have to hate each other. We're good at it. Primates hate mammals. Birds hate reptiles and so on. And we can only think as one if there's someone we can hate even more than each other. Someone who's so different from us that we unite against them in fear instead of even trying to understand. Yeah, I guess you're right. 
Hmm. But, you know, what is above all of this shit? What's that? Love, my dear. So, the best you can do is to leave and find your dream. You know, that's the simplest thing in the world. Just to love and be loved in return. Of course, the world will do its best to discourage you, to corrupt and to break it, but you must persevere. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. That's right. But how can an animal love someone like me? Melinda, I wish I could be as normal and special as you. Don't say that. I'm absolutely serious. Well, but what can I give you on this beautiful early evening? Are we going to end up crying here or what? Tell me, do you want the usual? You know what? I've got something special in mind today. Let's see. What do you need? A Grassmoor favourite. Really? That's an unusual choice, but I'm glad, because I rarely make it. I love trying new things, and today I'm feeling particularly adventurous. Good to hear. Let's do it. Let's make something special. So how does this work? It's just one espresso. Cool. Water. Coffee. That's it. Grind. So yeah, Zip completely had a thing for Melinda, but once he finally found out that she had a sweetheart, he's still there to support it. So yeah, it's, it's best that he kind of keeps it to himself. So one espresso, just like that. Okay, so now over here, what do we need? We got two sprinkles of oat straw powder. Okay, so this is the stuff that her boyfriend likes. I remember what he had, a sprinkle of caramel, which is here. Cool. Uh, sugar and stirred halfway halfway which is about there and I think that that is it it's a fairly simple one we'll go with this unless I got it wrong yay yeah, that's the way you do it. I had no idea but that was fantastic too you just don't miss it oh yeah I can but thanks anyway it's nothing let's keep talking though so big world here we come huh just off into the wilderness Oh yeah, I can't wait. I believe you, dear, and I sincerely hope that everything will be fine and nothing will go wrong. Wrong? What kind of trouble could there be? we got nothing to lose, just a bad life, and I'm not going to miss that. You know, I used to think that such talk was a weakness, this eternal optimism. And now, I envy you, and I'm sorry that my whole life has been wasted by not trusting others or myself. Oh, Zip, don't say that. Your whole life is still ahead of you. Nice of you to say that, but you don't have to. Anyway, I have to go now, Zip. I hope to see you again. I mean, I'm sure I will. So be it, my dear. So be it. Bye. Bye. Shit. Alright, here he is. Let's go. Mr. Zip. One more mister and you're dead, boy. We've told you, just... Just kidding. I'm a little tense today. I see. So have you come up with anything? I hope so, kid. I'll tell you in a minute, but how about some tea? Oh yeah, that would be nice. Uh, let's see. What do you need? A blackest night tea with some straw powder if possible. No problem. Let's make something special. So let's, let's get this. So it's like a, a tea. So we want a mug. Black tea, which is this one, I think. There we go. Pop that in. So, was it caramel again? Everybody likes caramel in their drink. Cool. Uh, a hit of honey. I always wait for the orange juice, honey. Yes. Two sprinkles of sugar. This one. One, two. And oat straw powder. Everybody having oat straw powder today. I hope you like it. Very yeah, good. That's the way you, do it. you really are a magician. Is that what they think of me? The coffee shaman? To the fairy saints and the wild ones, I didn't want to hear that. Well, it was a compliment. 
Now listen, kid, your task is very simple. I'm listening. I'll hide you here in my kitchen, and you can't say a word until I call you. Not a peep, I see. I'm not kidding, kid. You don't touch anything. You don't have to pee. You're not hungry. You're going to wait like a ghost until I call you, capiche? Yeah, I've got it. I'll do it. Very good. A friend of mine will try to help another almost friend of mine. If all goes well, you will not only have a clear path to get out of the city, but we might even be able to get Mick out of the way. You mean, you want to kill him, Zip? What? Of course not. Well, I wouldn't mind, but it's not my style. But don't worry about the details, just leave it to me, okay? I'm in your debt, Zip. I don't know what to say. Don't thank me in advance. This little plan of mine's pretty flimsy, and based on speculation, so get in the kitchen, shut up, and if you're religious, pray. I'm not religious. Shaggy Fluffy, hell, it's not the point. Pray, that's it. Okay. Now get back before somebody else sees you. One of the key guys in my plan will be here soon. Yeah, Zip. Thank you, Zip. I'm going, Zip. Oh, fairy heavens. What a bonehead. Okay, Frank is here. You plague of gods. Hey, what's up? What have I done? Oh, nothing. You were just spot on. Well, yeah, that's me. Give me something sweet and strong and something to eat because you can't do this on an empty stomach. That big of a catch. You wouldn't believe it. Well, spit it out. What can I do for you? Okay, what do we need? I want a Clawville on fire. It's quite a hit these days. Are you surprised? Not a bit. Okay, and then fetch me a ruminant's choice. Are you sick? My insides are just a little bit naughty, that's all. It's enough information for me. Too much, really. Okay, so let, let's go for the drink first. So we want one mug. Oh, put it here. Get the coffee. I gotta make sure my settings are good on the machine. That's always my fatal flaw. Okay, so water. Yes. Grinding. I'll double check everything as I go. You know how I do it. I don't just remember and, you know, go on a wing and a prayer. I try and check everything as I go. So I need one like this. Then I change my settings to a long. Yep. One like this. Hopefully that puts us in good stead. Okay, a single sprinkle of cocoa, which is this one. Nice. A single sprinkle of cinnamon, which is next door. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. A shot of whiskey. And stirred halfway. So hopefully I didn't get the cinnamon wrong. Otherwise it's one quick edit away. Here we go. Is it good? It's good. Yeah, that's the it's all good. That was masterful, man. Really. You're welcome anytime. That's the one thing I know how to do in life. Don't be hard on yourself. I hear you're good at doing the dishes too. Screw you, okay? So what's this food? Okay, some fries. Okay, so... What was it? We need two of these? So let's make oil first. So oil is here. The other one is for butter, which can go here. So two portions of straw fries for these. We'll just cook them one at a time. Oh, they kick quick. And the other one is over here. Okay, so that's cooked. That is cool. I could put in a fresh batch. It's all good. Okay, I'm just cooking. Oh, the fries goes here. Can I sneak this leaf underneath these fries? Hopefully that'll be fine. Okay, good. Gotcha. Okay, two lots of fries, two lots of lettuce leaves. Okay, two hits of salt and two hits of pepper. One, two. One, two. Next was herbs. Two lots of herbs, one lot of garlic. 
So two lots of herbs. One, two, one hit of garlic. Very good. And three lots of oat straw powder. Everybody is having oat straw powder. Where is that stuff? This one. Was it three lots? Okay. One, two, three. Enjoy. Bon appetit. Looks pretty good, actually. I'll try it. Even my tentacles are tingling, man. Too much information. Wow. And is that a good thing? How could it not be? What a brilliant thing you've done. Oh, good to hear. If that's all you say next time, that's plenty enough. We've learned about what makes him tingle. So, garlic, huh? Maybe I should play the lottery. But how? How did you know? The last time Mick was here, he told me I could put anything on his food but that. That just hit me right in the head, you know? No wonder he made a special point of it, mate. Mick, according to my source, who's never been wrong, is severely allergic to it. How bad? Well, it's not fatal, but it causes suffocation, and more importantly... Don't get me excited here. It causes terrible diarrhoea. Yeah, that's the one. You're a genius, Frank. What's the plan? It's so simple, I wouldn't even call it a plan, but that's why it's beautiful. I'm all auditory canal. Remember that big cow walking around with Mick? Sandor? Or is it Rosa Falvey? Well, it'd be hard not to notice. As a matter of fact, I did some investigating on him. I'm hiding him in the kitchen. What? He asked me for shelter, and he wants to get away from Mick, but he can't. Who came into the picture? First you, and then Moses. You evil cunning bastard! A whole bunch of birds in one stone, pardon the expression. So you're taking Mick, who's just been left without his henchman out of circulation. The boy escapes and Moses catches the helpless monkey. And you'll even get a few quiet days in the hive without the monkey and his gang giving you shit. Well, I don't know what to say, Zip, but it might even work. But it's got as many holes in it as you and this calf will have if this goes wrong. Don't be afraid, you old fart. Maybe I'm just buying time and delaying the inevitable which is very likely, but the bastard will still get what he deserves. You might as well just shoot him. No witnesses, just an idiot in your kitchen. You know that's not my style, not anymore. In fact, never has been. Okay, I understand that. And listen, just... Yeah. Good to see that you've changed. Shut up, you old tumble bug. Yeah. Now, you tell me something. What's new with the lady in your life? Come on, give me a break. Dada's history. We weren't right for each other. History? Two weeks ago, she was the whole wide world. The most beautiful queen of all insects you wanted to breed. A hundred larva with. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, it didn't work. It's complicated. But there is one woman who really is the one. Fairy heavens, what a cheap seducer you are. No, 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 she's the real deal. Her name's Nadja? Ah, oh, praise the eternal light. Please say that she's not a client of yours whose husband you busted. Well, you know, I'm not much of a liar. I can't believe this. Hasn't it spread around the hive that you're hitting on all your clients? Leave me hanging, okay? I just I just can't resist the poor, hurt, teary-eyed women. You're sick, man. Screw you. Should you be going, anyway? Mick's gonna be here soon. Or would you rather watch the show from the front row? I'll be around the neighbourhood. If you need me, I'll come. Just scream. I hope you won't be the one screaming. Yeah, me too. So long, man. Wait, just a moment. Yeah? Why do they call you half-armed, Frank? I mean, you still have three arms. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's just a little extra evil in the whole thing. What do you mean? Well, you know, if a normal animal loses an arm, it becomes half-armed. But I'm an insect, which is what my nickname reminds me of every damn time. Oh, shit. Never thought of it like that. I'm sorry. Give it a rest, man. I'm used to it. It doesn't bother me at all. It's a case of our way or the highway here at the Hive. Although, I guess you could just say the same is true for Clawville. Or the whole bloody wilderness, right? Well said, Zip. Well said. Well, I'm off. See you later. I hope so. Goodbye, Frank. Almost here. That monkey could be here any minute. 
I hope he's cocky and stupid enough to come alone. Because if not, then we're in trouble. Here he is. Let's do this. A pleasant evening to you, sir. Hey, Mick. I was kind of hoping you'd break your neck on the way over. I've always liked your right sense of humour, pal. So, shall we get it over with? Or would you like to eat something first? Eat? Uh, I don't know. I'd rather have a strong cup of coffee, but something really punchy. I feel like it's going to be a punchy kind of night. Really. Nice to hear. Don't skimp on the whiskey, okay? What kind of coffee should it be? Well, I'll tell you in a minute. Just wait. We're in no hurry. Okay. Let's keep talking then. Or not. Okay. What do you want? Let's have a hot dog special to remember the good old hot dog days. And put a lot of whiskey in it, huh? How much is a lot? I'm not a mind reader. As much as your biggest mug can hold. Hairy heavens. Be a little more self-sufficient. Okay. Five shots of whiskey, Roger. Wow. What an exciting evening we're in for, huh, old pal? I'm flying with joy. Floating a foot off the ground. Can't you see? You just relax, mate. It's your lucky day. But you just don't know it yet. But first, give me that coffee. Fine. Fine. Okay, so change your settings. First and most important thing is to change your settings. Okay, so coffee. And it's a mug, I do believe. So that can go there. Grind it. So we're just going to load this thing up, but Mick is a problem. But we do seem to have a plan to give him the shits. We're going to give him some garlic, I think, at some point. And we're going to make the dude shit himself. But we'll see how that goes. So I think that's good. So we can grind that. So that's done. What was it? Catnip? Fine. So cinnamon and catnip. Cinnamon. Catnip, I think, is new. I don't think we've done much of this before. Okay. Creepy. Meat powder. Meat powder? Da, 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 this one. What was it? Three lots of cane sugar. So this is a wild drink. I'm not sure this would be great for you. One drop of milk. Next is... Uh, two orange... Two whiskey. Two orange. Two whiskey. Almost there. Uh, stirred well, and then extra five to eight whiskies. I'll I'll go for five more. One, two, three, four. That that should do it. And then was it stirred well? Cool. All the way. Dip. That was a double dip on the spoon. It's no problem. This this will have some real punch to it. I'm not even sure. I'd try this. Yeah, this is wild. Oh, yeah. Was it good? Could have done with a little bit more whiskey. Mm-hmm, sure. That's a lot of whiskey, though. So, Sticky Fingers, Zip H. Murphy. I have to ask, what did you decide? What do you need this place for, Mick? Simple expansion. You know how it works. We have to have eyes everywhere. That's it. A fortress on the border of the hive and the city. It's something like... It's a bit more complicated than that. You want to start the fire in there, don't you? I'm terribly afraid of fire, Zip. You know that. I meant figuratively, Mick. You know very well. Okay, I see you think you can see through the sieve. Yeah, there's going to be a riot. It's going to happen, even if we don't get involved. And you need the space to have the perfect view of the events without being in the middle of them. You're not as stupid as they say, Zip. Of course. Don't think you're very smart either. That's only half of it and only just a small fraction of the truth. Okay, you know what, Mick? I'm all ears. Screw your plan, really, I don't care. In fact, you know what? I'm bursting with curiosity, mate. I'm in. What? I said okay, let's make the deal. Really? Just like that? I won't need to make any threats? It won't be necessary now. I'm tired of all this, Mick. Have it your way and I'll buy a new car and head for the wilderness. Ah, oh, I can't believe my ears, Zip. I honestly thought you'd really changed. But lo and behold, I was right. Wild animals don't change. It's sad, but yeah, I admit it. Well then, 
Oh, just. No need to hurry, Mick. It's been a long night. Be my guest on for a meal. What do you say? Let me cook one last meal in my old kitchen. After all, why not? I'm not that cold-hearted. Thanks, pal. No worries, mate. So, what can I prepare for the future owner? Hmm, let's see. So we gotta spike his food with garlic. Meat and meat sounds good. You know, I'm in a predatory mood today. Okay. Nothing. Just do what's on the menu. No extra. So how does that work? Okay, fat to the pan. And then is it two slices of bread. Okay, and we have another one going with some oil. That'll be fine. Two slices of bread coming up. So it's a huge old fry up what we're going to have over here. Okay, so we'll focus on one thing at a time. I don't want to overwhelm myself with too much stuff. One bread is now toast. Two bread is now toast. So, a couple of hot dogs. Okay. Over here is good. Over here is also good. Shall we get another one going? Where's the oil? Cool. One. Two. Uh, sponge meat and lettuce leaf. Sponge meat, is it this? Yeah. And the lettuce leaf as well. We'll cook that one down here. What else? Then it's just the garnishes. That's not too bad. Meat. Lettuce. Cool. Next is two hits of salt. Do I do the garlic now? One sprinkle of herbs, which is this one? Yes. And a drizzle of spicy oil, which is this one. Now, big question. He said don't do any extras, so we've made it. Do we add the garlic? Because we know that he's allergic to it to the point that it's going to give him the shits. Is this, is this now the time? Is now the time? It's now the time, and I'm doing this. Oh god, that's that's pretty heavy. Okay, we'll try this. Because we want to stop whatever he's getting involved with. That's the way you do it. Eat this, Mick. What? You? What? Sorry, man. Oh, is there something wrong? Are you feeling ill? You filthy little... Oh, I'm sorry, I don't understand. What did you say? You little... Oh, I'm sorry, I really don't understand. Are we struggling to breathe? Oh, I almost choked. Huh? What's up, buddy? It's like you've seen a ghost or something. You did the garlic a bit, by the way. That's okay. I can't stand the taste, but I don't have a particular problem with it. But, oh god. Choking. Acute diarrhea? Vomiting, huh? What? Oh, Zip Man, you're so naive. Why do you think I put the word out about this garlic thing? Ah, shit. I learned this trick from good old Wesler. Throw them a weakness they think they can exploit, and they won't see anything else. It's a very clever tactic, and works better in practice than I thought. Well then, I'm busted. Oh, you are busted indeed. But you know what? I'm a bully too. So if anybody understands, I do. I would have done the same thing if I were you. You and I, Zip Buddy, we're exactly the same. I'm not like you. Oh, yes you are. Yes you are. Now listen, I'll let you get away with this whole bizarre charade. I even enjoyed it. Really? Really, but enough of this. You hand over the key to the place and get the hell out now. You think so? I don't think so, Zip. I know you'll do it. Because I could tell a lot of things about you, but you're not stupid. I wouldn't be so sure. What? Oh god! We got a gun? You don't want to do anything stupid, do you? If I do, it would be the sanest decision of my life. Come on, Zip. I saw that Detective Fox Moses car outside. Frank's lurking nearby, too. You just don't want to go to jail in your old age. You know, Mick, you're right about a lot of things about me. But one thing you never understood... 
perhaps wild animals cannot change radically. Maybe I'll always be bad. Maybe I'll always be selfish and greedy, yeah. But if there's something I love, I won't let that go, because I'm stubborn as hell. It's just a place, Zip. A dirty roadside calf. Not worth killing for, is it? This place is the only thing I have. This place is the only thing I really own. This place is the only thing that's good about me. If you pull the trigger, you're dead too. Oh, really? I don't care. Zip. No. No. Bang. Haha, <laughs> what, are you shitting yourself there, pal? Ugh, you look so pale, Mick. You're right. You filthy. Uh, again, I can't understand you properly. Evening, gentlemen. Hey, guys. Hi, everyone. Ooh, we've come together so nicely, haven't we? Ugh. Fairy heavens, what have you done to him, Zip? Me? Nothing in the world. It just kind of froze up. I was looking for you, Mick. It's an amazing coincidence that we should meet here. My colleagues will be right with you. You dirty, rotten, little... Coffee, guys? Uh, maybe another time, Zip. But thanks. We'll take care of this. Right, right. Just do your thing. So, I'm gonna kill you. You little bastard. Oh, guys. One more thing. Yeah? The monkey's henchman is hiding in the kitchen. You can catch two bastards at once. Or nothing. Thanks for being so quick. Ooh. So do you want to snitch out Sandor? I think that would be the wrong thing to do. I think that would be the wrong thing to do. So we do have a choice. But we're going to go for this. No problem, Zip. So long, boys. See you never again, Mick. Right in hell, Zip. Good evening to you too, pal. Fellas. Farewell, Zip. Thanks for your help. Bye, mate. Well done. Huh. That was something. Come on out, boy. Mr. Zip, you're a god. Hairy feather goddess, boy. No mister. And I didn't even hear the other thing that you said. You saved my life. Let's not exaggerate. Mick has not been put away for life. Maybe. But by the time he comes out, we'll be on the other side of the world. So be it, boy. So be it. Evening. Good evening, my dear. Your knight has come forward. Melinda. Sandor. Mm. Coffee or tea? Oh, well, we don't want to be rude. And a coffee would be nice. I get it. I could really do the deep dark desires right now. Three dashes of extra cane sugar. Okay, of course. And I'll have a wild green eyes tea with two sprinkles of straw powder. Okay. So first up, <laughs> looks like, hopefully, maybe we got a happy ending, which is kind of cool. I was worried for a second there, when you had like the option to do certain things, I could have been a real bad piece of work. <laughs> I could have been very unpleasant to stand or, but you know, jealousy would have been a bad thing. It would not have brought a happy ending, I don't think. So what is the recipe for this thing? It's just an espresso. Plonk. That's it. Pull that. So, caramel. First, which is something I can never find. Caramel. Even though it's super popular and I use it all the time. Uh, two sprinkles of cane sugar. That's it. Two of that. Stirred well and three extra cane sugars. One, two, three. And stirred well, wasn't it? Yes. All the way. So, good. Linda's deep dark desires. Yeah, that's the way you do it. That should make her happy. And you. I've forgotten what he wants. It's fine. We'll, we'll just get the usuals ready. He doesn't want tea, does he? Oh, it is tea. Okay, my bad. Okay, so a mug. Put that in. So what is it? One green tea and one black tea. Okay, we've got to put two in there. So there's the black. And here the green. Okay, cool. Over here. Cinnamon is this one. 
And two hits of catnip, which that's such a wild thing to put into a drink. <laughs> and cane sugar. One, two, and I think, I think we're done. All right, pass that along. Do you like it? That's a good one. Zip. We can't be thankful enough, really. Come on, forget it, Melinda. And for the love of the great wild ones, you two are made for each other. We'll be forever grateful. Don't be. Instead, forget me. Forget the whole thing with the city and the hive, okay? Start with a clean slate. That's what I'd do if I were you. So, why don't you? What? Why not get on a train or a zeppelin? Or just get in your car and drive toward infinity? Oh, no, no, no. It's too late for me. And you know, there's this place. This is all I have. Don't you think that maybe it's just a shackle that keeps you here? You know, dear Melinda, maybe you're right, but still. I feel like this is my mission, even if it's dirty and humble. But don't mind me. I'm old and worn out. Like I said, forget about it. I really think it would be for the best, but you'll always be remembered fondly. Thanks, my dear. That's nice of you. No, but we don't want to hold you up, Mr. Zip. We have a train to catch. Hey, kiddo. Huh? No, Mr. Capiche. Just Zip for you, okay? Yes, okay, Zip. Thanks again. All the best to you. And to you, too. Farewell. Goodbye. Well, they're gone. It's pretty quiet here. It's time to do the dishes. Okay, we did. We did it. We did it. We did it. Okay, so let's put some... Let's put the washing powder in. Grab this. Oh, there we go. How soapy do we want it? Super soapy. So we'll just drop all this in. And we'll mull over the day's events. I think we're near the end of our little journey. So let's get to washing. Well, all's well that ends well, right? Of course, it depends on who it's good for. Mick might well be back, it could be a problem, but I think at least I can go to bed in peace. Hopefully we've helped out the guys in the hive. We've got a clear conscience, that's the main thing. Let your conscience be your guide. And maybe tomorrow I'll wake up as a better animal. Or not. And we finished day three. And I think that that's the end of the game. We did it. We did have the choice to do the bad thing, but we chose to do so the right thing. Taken in. I don't know what they can get out of him, but I have a bad feeling he won't be in there for too long. But he'll get off my back. I can tell you that. At least for a while. Frank will keep doing what he always did. Poking around in dangerous places and flirting with even more dangerous secrets until he loses another hand. Or his head. Melinda and Sandor drove off into the sunset. Like the end of a soppy movie. Damn, I even teared up a little. Although I don't know if I was crying for them or for myself. Damn your good heart. You dusty old trash panda. Moses got what he wanted, and also didn't. Mick was taken in and questioned, but uh, they couldn't prove anything. I ended up staying here, again, alone. So I'm gonna keep doing what I've been doing anyway. Living in peace, making coffee, and now I've finally done something that I don't have to forget. And, as my good mother always said, coffee is like life, son. Bitter and dark. But it's up to you how well you sweeten it. That is Zip's philosophy to life. Life can be tough and rough, but you can do things to make it a nicer place. And I'm pretty sure that that is the end of the game and the end of this gameplay. Okay, I'm really curious. I really want to see what the bad ending is like. So I have to start the whole game again. So I've just been going through at top speed 
Luckily, there is a skip dialogue button, which is kind of useful. But by the same stretch, I still have to do the orders manually. But I'm a bit of a pro now. I kind of know what I'm doing. So it's, it's just the same usual stuff. And I'm doing it all thoroughly. I'm getting, I'm getting maximum points on everything. And I'm not really thinking about it. So yeah, let's get to this bad ending. I'm really curious what happens if I betray the happy couple. Okay, so before he ordered the meat and meat. And we spiked his food with the with the garlic so what happens if i don't do that so maybe that will be my plan as well okay we're going to be good about it we're not putting the garlic in we're just going to give him let's spice things up with a bit of garlic first shall we oh, okay so you have to do it you have to do it for the sake of the story okay cool so that's fine and then we have to make the decision yeah so he tries this we have to do it we don't get the choice but that didn't work but now we can make that choice. So, we can say nothing. Don't sell out Sandor out the back. And we have the happy ending that we just saw. Or, the monkey's henchman is hiding in my kitchen. You can catch two bastards at once. Let's do the bad ending. Is that so? He asked me for help, but I think it's best to get all this filth off the streets. If you say so. I say so. Thanks for letting us know, Zip. It was... It was the right thing to do as a law-abiding citizen. Well, you're welcome. You're a pathetic snitch, Zip, and you'll be one for the rest of your life. Uh-huh. Would you get this filth out of my sight, though? Come on, Mick. We've got a lot to talk about. Don't look at me like that, okay? That poor boy. Don't start lecturing me, Frank. Whether he did it on orders or not, he's done a lot of shit, okay? Is that really the reason? Or could there be something else going on? Don't try and see through me. It's too messy in here for that. That's for sure, man. Anyway. Yeah? I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah. Me too. Bye. Bye, Frank. Shit. I did the bad thing. Sorry, Melinda. Evening. Oh, hey. What is it? You seem strange. Something wrong? Oh no, that's nothing. Say, my dear, can I get you something? I'd like a coffee. You know, I'm meeting someone here tonight. A strong coffee will do you good, I'm, I'm sure. Okay, let it come. Okay, so what do you want? A deep dark desires. As you wish. So yeah, we, we, done, we done her the dirty. Mainly, the motivation being spite and jealousy, <laughs> which is kind of pathetic, which is kind of a shame, and a, a bad thing about Zip. But by the same measure, this this guy, Sandor, he had done some bad things, he, he has murdered some guys by his own admission, so it's not like you can do that thing and just pretend it didn't happen and walk off. So I guess you could argue that he sort of deserves some kind of comeuppance. I don't know, have you ever seen the the film Baby Driver. So mild, mild spoilers to Baby Driver, but it's a really good film, go see it. But yeah, think the guy does bad things, but at the end of the film, here's the spoilers, he, he does do the time. And once he's out, he's a, his girl's waiting for him, and, and then it's, it's better because it's a clean slate, it's a fresh start. So you could argue that, but it's we know it's not that, it is just Zip being spiteful. Okay, so caramel. I'm getting distracted. And then two sprinkles cane sugar. One, two. And then stir it all. Oh, three extra cane sugars. One, two, three. Stir it well. So yeah, sorry Melinda. Well, this is definitely not going to work out for Zip in a good way. It's not going to work out good for anybody. So yeah, sorry. Yeah, My bad. He should be here any moment now. I think he just got arrested though. Melinda. You know, this is the day we talked about. Oh, I'm so excited. We've already bought our tickets for the Clawville Express. Hey, listen. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just so excited. I didn't mean to interrupt. The boy you're waiting for? Yeah, my dear Sandor. He won't come. What? What do you mean he won't come? He won't because the police took him away. The please yeah but but you were supposed to be able to help him 
He said you'd sort it out by the time I got back and everything would be fine. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. The plan didn't work out the way I expected. Also, yeah, I went full snitch. But please, don't be so devastated. It breaks my heart to see you like this. Yeah, I, I think my heart is breaking too. Melinda. I thought we could trust you, Zip. We really, we bet everything on it. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You did what was right for you, didn't you? I'm not so sure about that. What are you going to do now? I think, one way or the other, I'm going to do it. Are you going alone? What can I do? I've got nothing left here. Please stay. I can't, you know that. You can, I think. Well, the world's waiting for me, and I'm sure you're called to duty too, so I'll be going. Melinda. Yes, you know, you were the best thing about this damn place. Thank you. I hope you find another muse for yourself, Zip. One who's really right for you. Thanks. Goodbye. It's time to do the dishes. Oh, did the dishes, but you did the dirty. So, yep. Yeah. It's a, uh, yeah, selfish. <laughs> That's not to say that Zip didn't do risky things, but yeah, the bad ending is indeed the bad ending. Oh man, I wish I knew what I've learned from all this. If I can learn anything at all, or is that it? Do I know myself inside out? Am I really incapable of changing, or... Maybe it's just not time yet. If I could relive those three days again. Would I choose differently? So we did the good thing first and the bad thing second. But okay, we got the bad ending. Anyway, I wasn't strong enough to swallow this romance. See, buddy? That's you. In the end, it turns out you can't change. Melinda left alone. Who knows where? In the end, Sandor couldn't escape the fury of Mick. He survived, but uh, how shall I put it? It was a close call. Poor devil. Eh, maybe he'll learn something from this. Maybe not. Moses got what he wanted, and also didn't. Mick was taken in and questioned, but uh, they couldn't prove anything. Frank will keep doing what he's always done, poking around in dangerous places. Okay, so the rest of the story is very much the same as before. So it's just a bit more of a downer. Or his head. And we made that decision to make it a downer. Mix off my back, at least for now. So I'll keep doing what I've been doing anyway. Living in peace, making coffee. And now I got one more thing behind me that I'd like to forget. And as my good mother always said, coffee is eternal, my son. You are not. Much more of a downer ending. That's what happens if you choose the bad route. Oh wow, but we made it to the end of Zip's Cafe. We did the good ending and the bad ending. And we've seen a lot of things. Yeah, end of the game with the bad ending. We got the achievement for it. But we've seen a lot of this game now. And hopefully this will be a nice little leading to the new Chicken Please game. I don't know when it's coming out. But we shall see. And also I think Moses has his own game coming up as well. I'll keep an eye on things as they, as they develop and see what goes on. And maybe I'll play those games on the channel as well. But I hope you enjoyed seeing me play this game. And I hope you enjoyed all the little stories that we experienced as well. But that is it for now. This is Ushio signing off. And hopefully I will see you next time.